The map of the campsite is shown below. Campsite C, First State Station F, and Supply Station S is, uh, lies along a straight path. So what that translates to, that first statement there, is saying that points C, F, and S, they are all collinear. They are all on a straight line. Uh, the path from the supply station to the tower, T, is perpendicular to the path from the supply station to the campsite. So what they're saying is this line segment here is perpendicular to that red line that I drew there. And it's already, uh, it's already labeled with a right angle symbol there. Okay. The length of path FS is 400 feet, which is already labeled. The angle formed by path TF and path FS is 72 degrees. The angle formed by path TC and path CS is 55, which are all already labeled here. Determine and state to the nearest foot the distance from the, from the campsite to the tower. So we're looking for this length, which I'm going to label as X the campsite to the tower. So uh, I'm not given any information about the big right triangle. Uh, so when I say big right triangle, I'm referring to this. I'm not given information about the segments. I am given information about one of the angles inside of that big right triangle, and that's 55 degrees. So if I need to find out what is the... Um, length of that length of x which is the hypotenuse i need to know either side length ts or cs so let me point that out i need to know a little something about side length ts or side length cs i'm going to use a different color here let's say green so with the information that I have now, which sides would I be able to find first? Would I be able to find TS or would I be able to find out CS? So looking at this, I'm given information about the, um, the leg of the smaller right triangle, which in return, I am then going to be able to find out what is the, the height of the smaller right triangle. I can find out what the length of TS is. So at the moment, I don't have enough information to find out what CS is. I do have enough information to find out what TS is. So that's what I'm going to do first. Uh, so to find out what the length of TS is, I'm going to call TS here H. H happens to be opposite of 72 degrees. And the 400 feet, which is the length of FS, is adjacent to 72 degrees. So which trig ratio will involve an opposite side with an adjacent side. That would be tangent. So tangent of 72 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is H over 400. I can then solve for what H is. H will equal to 400 tangent 72. I can then enter that into the calculator. Let's do that. So 400 tan 72. So 400 tan 72. Make sure your calculator setting is in degrees. So it's the third row, second option there. Let's press enter. That's 1231.073. So H is equal to 1231.073. I'm, I'm going to round at the very, very end because it says for us to round to the nearest foot. I'm going to do that at the end there. So H uh, is this value that I just found. And since I know H, I can then solve for X because now I'm, uh, I'm going to focus my, my attention on the big right triangle. H happens to be opposite of 55 degrees. X happens to be the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. So which trig ratio will involve opposite to hypotenuse? That would be a sine ratio. I can then say sine of 55 degrees is equal to H over X. And what was the value of H again? H was 1231.073. So sine 
of 55 is equal to 1231.073. And now I can solve for x. I want to multiply both sides by x. So I get x sine of 55 is equal to 1231.073. Let's divide both sides by sine 55. x will equal to 1231.073 over sine 55. Let's enter that into the calculator. So the value that I got a moment ago on the calculator, it's still saved there. I want to divide this by sine of 55 degrees. So x will be 1502.86. So to the nearest foot, it would be 1503 feet. So x will equal to 1503 feet. So to answer the question, determine the state to the nearest foot, the distance from the campsite to the tower. So CT, the length of CT, will equal to 1503 feet.